Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have a new video for you guys and I'm doing a makeup tutorial and it's all basically summer inspired because summer is basically here. Uh, it's pretty hot today in my house actually and yeah, so today I wanted to share a makeup look that you can definitely bust out for summer and it's gonna survive the heat and it's gonna look nice and bright. Um, actually, I'm um, wearing a red lipstick which is technically a fall color but who cares? Honestly, red in summer looks bomb and so that's what I have on today and anyways uh yeah so if you guys are new to my channel please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you guys enjoyed watching this video and that's it we're gonna get to it uh with the tutorial and I'm gonna stop talking so let's get to it so of course we're starting off the tutorial with a ba bare face um, and we are going to start by moisturizing. I always moisturize my face. I'm using the Virad Essential C Daily Moisturizer because it has SPF 30. I've actually been enjoying this product a lot. It's worked out very, very well for my skin. I was kind of debating if I didn't like it or so, but I, I like it. It's great. Moving on to my under eye, I'm using the Skin Authority Reviving Eye Brightener. That was a long name. I absolutely love this product, guys. I highly recommend you if you guys want to check them out. This product makes my under eye feel so nice. I absolutely love it. Um, it just feels so luxurious. It's just so nice and fresh. I don't know. It's just really, really great product and I absolutely love it. So that's what I'm putting on today. So then I'm going to use something for my lips because they've been very chapped. I'm actually using this Lano Lips Banana Balm and this smells straight up like banana. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. And so yeah. Finally, for makeup, I'm actually going to use this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And this is the Radiant Primer, basically to just brighten up your skin. And I swear this thing really does work. So I'm just going to apply all this and blend it in my skin. Now we're actually going to prime my skin. I'm actually using the Scandinavia um, the Makeup Primer Spray for the oil control. This one is amazing and really does help prime my skin and really does help me control my oil. I love it. After foundation, I'm actually using, again, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, Stick Foundation. I'm still testing this product out as of right now. I really like it. It makes my skin feel really natural and it makes it look really natural. Um, it's not like super full coverage, but you can definitely build it up and it's easy to blend and I really like how easy it is. You just like, kind of basically you just like paint all over your face straight up from the stick and I love it. So now we are concealing. I'm actually using the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. This is actually new from Too Faced. I've, test, I've been tested out this week and I absolutely approve this product. It's absolutely amazing. Blends really easily. It's really light. It doesn't feel kicky under your eyes. And it doesn't really crease on me, which I really like. It's just a great concealer and I highly recommend for you guys to check them out. Now we're going to set my foundation and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. That was a long name and I'm just basically putting that on my skin. This is the first time I actually tried it on and I really enjoyed it. It seems not too cakey, really light and um, powder and then really easy to blend. So yeah. And then now we're actually going to kind of bake my under eye. I'm using the RCMA Best Powder Ever by the way um, and I'm just going to apply that in my under eyes so that my concealer really doesn't go anywhere like the whole day. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. blush brush. That's what I use to put uh, powder under my eye. It's like the best thing ever. And I'm just going to dust a little bit all over my face and yeah. Now we're moving on to bronzer. I'm actually using Makeup Forever Pro Bronzing Fusion in the number 2 I think. Um, or 20M, sorry. And I am basically going to apply this with a beauty blender and just blending it out kind of contouring slash bronzing my face and I love this thing. It's just it's just so easy to blend. It just gives me such a natural glow. I love it. Now we're gonna apply some blush and oh my god guys I'm actually gonna use a cream blush which is crazy because I don't really go for those type of blushes. I'm actually using the Beauty For Real um, in the pink and I'm put I put it on, on my beauty blender and then I'm just gonna apply it on my skin and it gives me the most natural finish. I absolutely love it. I kind of love this product. I tested one of these before I believe and I fell in love and now it's even better because I discovered that I can apply it with my skin. So, yeah. <laughs> and now for the favorite part of the makeup, I'm going to highlight. I'm actually using the Pure Cosmetics um, Sun Kiss Glow Palette. I'm actually using the color Aurora and Solar. This product is amazing guys. It's really easy to apply. I apply with a beauty blender. That's what I recommend the most. Don't use a brush. Don't use your hands. Use a sponge actually 
and just apply it on. It just gives you such a natural highlight. Um, and I just, I love it. And since I, I kind of want to exaggerate my highlight, I'm actually going to use the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duel. And I'm only going to use the highlight side of it. This is the Zero Two um, palette, I guess. And I'm going to use, again, my Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to put it on top of my other highlight. And it just gives me this super, super glow. Now I'm moving on to brows because my brows need like, help. Seriously, I'm using the NYC, actually. Um, this brow kit they have. This is in the color dark brown. I love this powder. It's really nice and pigmented, guys. So just be light on the hand. And I'm just going to do my eyebrows like I usually do. And I love it. It's just a great, great powder. Now moving on to eyeshadow, actually. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Bomb Bomb Palette. I'm actually going to apply the color Divinity all over my eyes. And I'm using the um, the Delium Tools 775 to do that. So I'm just going to apply it all over my eyes. Then I'm moving on to my crease again with the same palette. I'm using the Cashew Chew. I'm using the Sigma E40. This is like the best brush in the world. And I'm just going to put it in my crease. Then put in another color in my crease actually. I'm going to use the Almond Truffle again. Put it in my crease with the same brush. The Sigma brush is like bomb diggity. And I'm just going to blend that in there. I love this brush so much. This is a must have. Now I'm using the Makeup Forever Artiste Palette Numero Uno and I'm using one of these shades. I think it's an ME 512 shadow. I'm not completely sure, but I'm just gonna dust that on my eyelid and you know, so it gives me a nice glowy look in my eyes. And again, I'm using the um, Bedellian Dream 775 brush to do that. Then I'm just gonna highlight the inner corners of my eyes and I'm actually using from the same palette from the Makeup Forever I believe the color I-528 and I'm using the brush from the Bedellium line and this is a 780 and I'm just going to put it in there. Now to finish the look, I'm just going to go in here and put Almond Truffle in there with the brush of Bedellium Tool 772 and I'm going to blend it out with the Sigma E40, just a little bit blending it out so it looks more natural. And then of course, I'm just going to put some eyeliner on. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Best eyeliner out there, just letting you guys know. And then I'm going to put mascara on. Now to my surprise guys, this mascara is bomb diggy. This is the Beauty For Real, this is the high definition mascara I believe. And the wand is like the tiniest thing ever. When I first tried this, I was like, what is this? And I couldn't believe it. It worked so well for my lashes. I just love this mascara so much. So I just put that on. And for the last makeup look, I'm actually using the Besame lipstick in red velvet. Guys, this lipstick is so pretty. I love it. I'm just gonna put it on and yeah, it's just look at it. It's just stunning. I absolutely love this color and it feels so nice on my lips and it doesn't dry on my lips, by the way. It's kind of like a matte satin -y finish, but yeah, just in the packaging is like super cute. And then for the last step, I'm just gonna make sure that everything stays in place. Again, I'm using the Scandinavia. This is the finishing spray and it's also the oil control one and I'm just going to dust that all over and we're done. So that's it for the video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe before you leave. And that's it. I'll have all the products that I use linked down below like always. Um, you guys can always check out the, my description box for extra info and stuff. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.